In the labyrinth of romantic discourse, Brittany Renner, with the rhetorical flair reminiscent of Byzantine orators, unleashes a verbal tempest upon those attempting to pigeonhole her into a neatly constructed narrative. First of all, I will never subscribe to you or anyone else's idea of love. What's possible for me? The writings on my heart are true. You can share your perspective all you want, but it is not a universal truth. I do not care what all men do. All men cheat. All men are like this. All men see you like that. Most men wouldn't. The person that's designed for me is not like most men. And quite frankly, most of you are cowards, lack imagination, lazy, and overall, you've just given up. Well, what makes you so special? How are you any different? Well, you did that and you said this. Babe. If you don't see my value, it's because you're not meant to. And no communication could ever bridge the gap to understanding. Think what you want. Think it again. Shot it from the mountaintops. But it ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't answer to that. The idea of two men wanting to marry me overwhelms me. Why would I want 200, 2,000, 2 million men to want to be with me? I'm glad we don't relate. Because this ain't that and that ain't this in real life. You ain't even got enough bass in your voice for me. You don't even speak with conviction. You don't even believe yourself. <laughs> A joke. A jester you are. Whatever your romantic situation is, is a direct reflection of what you, nobody else, what you think is possible for you. Is that as good as it gets? I hate to burst your bubble, but where you have settled in, you will never feel settled in. You'll never know peace. Your heart is always gonna long for the truth, <laughs> whatever that may be for you. Nothing wrong with taking the scenic route, but at some point you will be ejected out of that reality because you can't fight fate. And who you're for, is who you're for. If you took yourself seriously, you wouldn't entertain buffoonery. You wouldn't entertain something that you just, you know in your heart that ain't for you. Mm, but uh, you can't say you stand on business, you don't even stand up for what you believe in, you don't even stand up for yourself. You don't even stand up for your heart. You're a coward. That's it, that's all. Have a great day. Well, actually, have the day you deserve. <laughs> Her alleged response to fresh and fit and other presumptive arbiters of love and possibility echoes with the resonance of ancient oracles, declaring her autonomy in the realm of affection and self-determination. Renner's proclamation that she shall not tether her heart to the capricious winds of others' opinions reverberates like a Spartan war cry. In a world rife with well-meaning but misguided advisors, she erects a bulwark around her own truths, etched onto the parchment of her heart, an indomitable testament to the sovereignty of her convictions. The dismissal of generalized aspersions about men, akin to the battle cries of medieval heralds, becomes Renner's clarion call against the siege of stereotypes. She asserts that her destined partner is an exception, defying the statistical tapestry woven by those who hastily paint all men with the broad brush of infidelity. It's a philosophical jost, challenging the absolutism inherent in sweeping declarations about the human experience. In the crucible of questioning her intrinsic value, Renner wields a rhetorical Excalibur, declaring that those who cannot discern her worth are not destined to. Her belief in the impenetrability of her essence against the whims of external judgments resonates like the invincible armor worn by mythical heroes navigating the treacherous waters of public opinion. The assertion that communication is a feeble bridge over the chasm of understanding recalls the esoteric wisdom of ancient sages. Renner, with a metaphysical flourish, suggests that her essence transcends the limitations of linguistic conveyance, residing in the realm where only those with eyes attuned to the nuances of her being can decipher the cosmic code inscribed upon her soul. Renner's nonchalant dismissal of the cacophony of external perspectives, 
a defiant anthem against the dissonance of societal expectations, mirrors the stoic resolve of philosophers who traverse the corridors of life with unwavering purpose. The notion that others can think what they want, akin to the philosophical shrug of existential autonomy, amplifies her impervious stance against the tumultuous seas of public perception. The overwhelming idea that many men aspire to marry her unfolds like an ancient tapestry, woven with threads of desire and adulation. Renna, with a Socratic dialogue with destiny, contemplates the ramifications of settling for a reality that falls short of one's true desires, a cautionary tale echoing the timeless parables of seeking fulfillment beyond the mirage of compromise. The derision cast upon those who lack conviction, labeling them as mere jesters in the grand carnival of life, echoes the stern judgments of medieval courts where the whimsical were often relegated to the fringes of societal regard. Renner's scorn becomes a metaphorical lash against the moral ambivalence of those who traverse the path of least resistance, akin to the spineless courtiers flitting through ephemeral allegiances. As Renner encourages the audacious pursuit of one's romantic inclinations, she warns against the illusionary tapestry of a settled reality. The admonition to take the scenic route, an allusion to the mythic meandering of Odysseus, carries an undertone that settling for a predetermined fate merely postpones the inevitable reckoning with one's unfulfilled desires. In a crescendo of verbal brilliance, Renner concludes by chastising those who forsake their convictions as cowards. The damning label resonates with the historical judgments passed upon those who, in the face of moral crucibles, chose the path of least resistance over the ardor of standing resolute in their beliefs. In the crucible of this verbal tapestry, Brittany Renner emerges as a modern oracle, a seer navigating the labyrinth of love and autonomy with the rhetorical prowess of historical luminaries. Her words, imbued with the echoes of ancient wisdom, transcend the temporal confines, standing as a testament to the perennial struggle for authenticity in the capricious dance of societal expectations. And there you have it, dear viewers, the verbal symphony orchestrated by Brittany Renner, a linguistic maestro weaving her truths amidst the cacophony of external judgments. As we traverse the corridors of autonomy, love, and societal expectations, let us reflect on the echoes of ancient wisdom resonating in Renner's words. If this verbal odyssey has struck a chord or sparked contemplation, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. If you relish this journey through the labyrinth of self-discovery and societal defiance, consider subscribing for more intellectual explorations and philosophical musings. The quest for authenticity, much like the mythical heroes of yore, is an ongoing narrative, and your participation in this discourse enriches the collective tapestry of understanding. Remember, in the vast expanse of YouTube, your engagement is a currency that fuels the flames of meaningful conversations. So, hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future verbal sojourns and debates that transcend the boundaries of time and societal norms. As we bid adieu to this video, let the lingering resonance of Brittany Renner's words accompany you on your own odyssey of self-discovery. Until next time, fellow seekers of truth, may your perspectives be as boundless as the cosmos, and may you navigate the tempests of societal expectations with the unwavering compass of authenticity. This is your name, signing off. Stay curious, stay contemplative, and stay true to the symphony of your own convictions.